It was the seventh grader's first cross-country meet, but she didn't want to run. Although she had been preparing for the event, she was afraid of doing poorly. So she started the race with everyone else. Later, one by one, the other runners finished a two-mile course and crossed the finish line, everyone except the reluctant runner. Finally, her mom, who was watching for her daughter to finish, saw a lone figure in the distance. The mother went to the finish line, preparing to comfort the shot competitor. Instead, when the young runner saw her mom, she exclaimed, That was awesome. What can be awesome about finishing last? Finishing. The girl had tried something difficult and had accomplished it. Scripture honors hard work and diligence, a concept often learned through sports or music, or other things that require perseverance and effort. Proverbs 12 verse 24 says, Diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. And later we read, All hard work brings a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. 14 verse 23 These wise principles, not promises, can help us serve God well. God's plan for us always included work. Even before the fall, Adam was to work the garden and take care of it. Genesis 2 verse 15 And any effort we make should be done with all our heart. Colossians 3 verse 23 Let's work in the strength He gives us and leave the results to Him. What are some areas where I can learn from this teenager to be diligent and persevere? How does doing my best and working hard honor God? Heavenly Father, whatever it is you have asked me to do today, big or small, help me to do it.